This is the Friday afternoon QSO VLOC network, and now let's check in and see if Charlie K1GZL is on frequency to bring us up to date on the latest 40 meter band propagations. Charlie's QTH is up north in northern New Hampshire, near the Canadian border. Charlie, got a copy? In border. Charlie, got a copy? Yes, uh, Jim, I sure do. You're running uh, 10 over 9 on my cloud warmer as my quad, of course, is out of service at the present time. you got a very nice uh, uh, signal, and uh, right now the sun is uh, breaking out a little bit. It's been mostly cloudy, windy, cold. Last night it was oh, extremely windy. Uh, the temperature in the normal low up here in northern New Hampshire is 11 degrees, 11 degrees. And uh, uh, at midnight, it was 52. And over in Montpelier, Vermont, it was 63, if you can believe such things. And then a uh, cold front came through, and not a severe cold front, but a cold front about 2 o'clock in the morning, and we had hellacious winds gusting uh, at least 60 miles per hour. And the power went out for an hour and a half, and that's we're lucky. It could have gone out and stayed out a long uh, time. The snow is off the ground. However, this weekend uh, we are expecting uh, snow. Most of it will pass just south of us, of all things. Uh, but we could get five to uh, eight inches up here at 2,030 feet above sea level in northern New Hampshire. So I wonder how you copy, uh, Jim, uh, KC9VKV, K1GZL, uh, and it's just at freezing outside, and the winds are still blowing 35 miles per hour. Go ahead. Roger, Charlie, you went from a 20 to a 25 over in uh, Milford, PA. Roger. 25 over in uh, Milford, PA. Roger. Roger, thank you for that. Uh, by the way, here's Captain Mike talking about Christmas trees. Here he's home in southwest Virginia. Just a couple seconds of it. Well, he's got three big uh, white pines, but uh, uh, there, there must be really a lot of fun to be able to pick out a tree and, uh, and go ahead and uh, use that as your uh, Christmas tree. But uh, anyway. Okay, there we are. Uh, uh, all right, Jim, let me turn it uh, back over to you. The visibility, though, is excellent. I can see out to about uh, 45, 50 miles at the present time. Uh, KC9, VKV, K1, GZL. Roger, Roger. Charlie, just curious about how your main antenna is coming along. What, what needs to be done there? Coming along? What, what needs to be done there? Well, the main antenna broke at the, uh, uh, at the balance. It broke. Uh, and uh, dangled free from the ballon, dangled free uh, from the ballon, but uh, we've got the ladder up uh, to that ballon. Uh, it's a matter of collecting it. However, uh, the, uh, the line uh, for the director, the line for the director is uh, uh, down, and that has to be uh, uh, replaced. And uh, I'm still... Uh, uh, recuperating and my voice, is, my uh, tracking is a little unstable where it's pretty steep. Uh, I have a tendency to get uh, a, a, a deorganized or destabilized and uh, to get over there. It might be when the snow uh, gets on the ground and heavier, uh, I might be able to uh, do something more than I'm doing now. Uh, but it is uh, it is a uh, problem, and uh, everything is happening at the same uh, at the same time, uh, Jim. KC9 VKV K1GZL. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Well, whatever. Don't take any chances. Uh, you know, uh, that's a <laughs> very very dangerous situation. Yeah, I know you got a new ladder, but I'm not sure that's a good omen, if you know what I mean. I'm not sure that's a good omen, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I know. I know what you're uh, uh, what you're saying. Excuse my voice; it suddenly went out. But your signal is actually 20 over right now. It's uh, terrific. It's a very dangerous situation. Yeah, I know you got a new ladder, but I'm not sure that's a good omen. <laughs> you know what it is. Okay, uh, Jim. I'll turn it back to you. I won't hold it too long. 
We should try to be on uh, tomorrow, I mean next uh, Friday, next Friday at the same time. The following Friday, by that time, we'll be able to uh, record Captain Mike again on his flight between uh, 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 Philadelphia and Sacramento. However, with this, uh, only using this, this antenna on 40, it doesn't go west uh, too awfully well. So most of well, what I pick up will be from west to east on 20, on uh, 20 meters. And boy, he really clocks in a terrific signal here. Um, aeronautical mobile on 20, KC9VKV, K1GZL. Roger, roger, Charlie. What is his uh, output power? Roger, roger, Charlie. What is his uh, output power? Uh, 400, 400 uh, watts. Uh, to an 800, uh, no, no, an 8 foot long, uh, I thought it was a, a wire, but it's not, it's a, uh, more of a, uh, oh, it's a wrapped type of antenna, it's, it's, wi it's wider than a, a, a wire, but it's only 8 feet, and he's using Collins equipment, uh, which means only upper sideband, only upper sideband, and when we, when we have to use uh, 40 because of poorer conditions on 20, uh, uh, we have to use upper sideband, and sometimes that does cause problems. But generally speaking, the fellows are very, uh, uh, very acceptance of that, and uh, we've had uh, no really, uh, no real serious problems. Go ahead. Roger, Charlie. So I'm assuming that uh, that upper sideband limitation is uh, uh, only holds true for for, uh, uh, I guess, commercial radios for aircraft. Uh, I, I'm sure their ham radios are, are uh, upper and lower, Roger. Radios are, are uh, upper and lower, Roger. Uh, but as far as I know, most all of that military equipment is uh, upper sideband. Why? I don't know. Uh, but uh, it's primarily upper sideband and... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, it, uh, it, it's a little bit uh, uh, <laughs> disconcerting, but that's the military. Uh, they want to concentrate on upper sideband. So, so far, as far as I know, uh, none uh, of the aeronautical mobile people that I have been informed about uh, have used anything but upper. Uh, but upper, and Jim uh, was thinking WA3FET. He was thinking that uh, maybe something could be uh, uh, changed around so that they'd have an option. But the military wants to stick right with upper sideband uh, with their equipment. Uh, go ahead. Roger, Roger. Well, I guess they figure, uh, you know, uh, have not, not having a redundancy of being able to use both upper and lower, that they would just make it uh, the one, Roger. Or that they would just make it uh, the one, Roger. Yeah, that, uh, that's it. Uh, they want to just keep it uh, one. And if they uh, have both upper and lower, could be if something emergency comes along and, uh, and every, all the, everybody else, militarily speaking, is listening on the upper sideband. And by accident, he threw a switch and was on the lower. They wouldn't be copyable. It would be bad. Go ahead. Roger, Roger. Well, Charlie, you're sounding mighty good there. Uh, uh, Milford is doing an excellent job. You're still uh, uh, 20 over there, Roger. Excellent job. You're still uh, uh, 20 over there, Roger. Oh, thank you very much. I used to be a little bit stronger into Milford with the other antenna, but uh, can't use what I don't have. If this goes out, I'm off by 40, period. But uh, I'm holding my breath. Okay, Jim, look, I'll let you go there, and we'll catch you hopefully next week. And Merry Christmas to you, and a Happy New Year, in case some disastrous storm comes along and uh, takes the kid, uh, takes the cat right off frequency. Oh, boy. Uh, that wind last night, you wouldn't believe it. It screamed. It screamed through here, and then the power was out for an hour and a half. But as far as I can see, there was no damage. But uh, I had, a, I had a guests here yesterday evening, and they almost got uh, blown out of bed, so to speak, uh, over there in the other uh, uh, bedroom. So, uh, Jim, thank you very, very much, and uh, hopefully we'll be on uh, next week. And I'll tell you how much snow we ended up with on Saturday afternoon and Saturday night and early Sunday morning. 
Uh, but you'll hear about that on uh, TV. And out your way, I would guess right now you've been having some rain, a little bit of rain in the last few hours. KC9 VKV K1 GZL. Roger, Charlie, just a little drizzle, nothing uh, to write home about, thank goodness. Uh, uh, yeah, luckily, though, my, uh, my dipole, uh, even in uh, snow, it doesn't tend to uh, rise up as far as, uh, you know, SWR. So, um, you know, normally it's like a, like a .05 or something like that. So we got it to tune down real good. Well, Charlie, let me say 73 up that way, sir, and you have a great afternoon, and we'll see you uh, next Friday, Roger. Have a great afternoon, and we'll see you the next Friday, Roger. Roger, Jim, and thank you very much for letting me uh, come aboard into your station. And uh, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to anybody or everybody that might uh, be uh, be listening. The very best, Jim. Excuse my voice. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's going out a little bit here at the moment. KC9, VKV, K1, GZL. Uh, we are clear. Roger, Roger, Charlie. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. This is uh, KC9VKV, and I, I'm Jim, and uh, better known in some, some circles as Dr. VKV, and we're recording now live till 5, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give us a shout. We'll post this recording up on YouTube in the next couple of days. So when you go to YouTube, just do a call letter search for KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook. That's KC9VKV Logbook. That will take you to this recording. It'll be cut number one of 1950 uh, QSO Vlog recordings. So you go to YouTube, do a call at a search, KC9VKV Logbook, and this will be cut one. And this is uh, KC9VKV, the name is Jim, and uh, we are recording now live to five. So if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Hi, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.